As with other UML elements, packages don't exist in isolation. You can relate packages to each other in various ways. These relationships include dependency, generalization, and refinement. And that's what this movie is about. We'll be looking at these ways in which you can relate packages to one another in a package diagram. Now you've seen dependency and generalization with other UML elements, so I'll just give a quick review and some examples here. In a dependency, one package depends or relies on another. So in this example, if we were going to call this package fish, and its elements might be the different classes of fish that you can think of, then we could also call the second package water, and its elements might include different classes of water, such as lake, river, ocean, and so on. So we can show a dependency between these packages by using the dependency connector. So we would read this, fish depends on water, or fish needs water. Just as a reminder, the way that you show dependency is with this dashed line, open-headed arrow that points from the dependent element to the element that it depends on. So that's dependency. Generalized relationships demonstrate inheritance and are read as is a kind of. So let's move this down. And let's create another package called animal. And we use the generalization connector, which is a triangular headed arrow that points from the child back to the parent. So in this example, we would read this as fish is a kind of animal. So you can use dependency and generalization with packages just as you can with other UML elements. Refinement shows a different kind of relationship between packages. Refinement is all in the details. One package refines another package if it contains the same elements but offers more details about those elements. So you can think of the refine relationship as, for example, the relationship between a sketch and an oil painting. You have all the same elements in the sketch and the painting, but the painting refines the sketch by giving more detail, more color, uh, more defined shape, more light and shadow, and so on. So let's give an example of refinement relationship between two packages. Think of a play. You start off a play with rehearsals, and the elements of a rehearsal would involve actors, director, sets, props, and so on. Another package that gives more detail to those elements would be performance. We still have the same actors, the same props, the same director, and so on, but the performance has refined the rehearsal. So we have a dependency arrow pointing from performance back to rehearsal, and we give it the refined stereotype. So you would read this, performance refines rehearsal. You might be wondering why the dependency arrow points from the more detailed package back toward the less detailed package. And that's because, think about it in this terms, a performance depends on a rehearsal. This higher level of detail is only possible because the lower level of detail existed in the first place. So in a refined relationship, your dependency arrow points from the refining element back to the element that it refines. And use the refined stereotype to label your dependency arrow to make it clear that this is a relationship that shows a greater level of detail.